first will be the number three, William Mary Tribe, and the number two, UNCW Seahawks. Bumped a little bit, no call coming, but his team able to still keep it. Perez in the middle, able to dip around his man, has some space outside the 18, plays it in, but it's quickly knocked away by Meekum. Right back out, Perez fires it in again, and it went in! O'Reilly Mall was right in the middle of the field. I'm not sure if he tipped it, but it completely confused Melvin, and it's in the back of the net. That was an interesting play, Jeff, because Chris Perez uh, put a little shot in. It gets rebounded out and right back to him and does the same thing and almost put it in the same spot. That time, Riley Ma is there and was able to put his head on it and right by the goalkeeper, Sean Melvin. But Bonner had his chance knocked away, but Sizemore takes it right back. Played all the way across. Here's a chance for Cardona. Thought about letting it go. Makes a move, lets it go, and he scores! Well, he thought he was going to rip it as soon as it got to his foot. Instead, he delayed, made a juke to his right, and buried it. 1-1. It's laid up the side. Perez right through the middle onto the body of SK. Has some room, lets it go. He scores! Beautiful ball from Perez all the way to Jackson SK. And the sophomore has made it 2-1. 22 to go here in the first half in favor of William and Mary. And it comes back to Luster, middle of the field. He's got room. Flesh right to SK. Gets it right back. He's got some room. SK all alone. Pitches it through him and in the back of the net. Second goal from SK. And a beautiful give and go with Riley Ma. And they have been money so far tonight. Cardona closer to the ball. He'll let it go. Towards the net. Scores! What a beauty. Cardona, his second of the game. Upper right hand corner. Buries it. And it's 3-2 now, William and Mary. Thinking about letting it go. Couple fakes all the way across. Perez, who has two assists tonight. Try to let it go through. Gets this one through and he scores! Trying to make a quick move with the ball through the middle of a few defenders, and then he finally got it back after it went off a player for UNCW, and Perez nailed it home. He's got a three-point night. It's 4-2, William and Mary. After the ball was held pretty good, this one's sent towards net. A header chance that goes across. Comes right back out. Dell in the middle, has some room, lets it go, and he scores! Jamie Dell, who started the game as a sub, Came in, created some chances at the end of the first half, and he gets UNCW right back in it. Played towards the middle, loose ball, whoever wants it. It's Luster for William and Mary. Tries to step through, does so along the goal line. Has some space, running out of room, crosses it. Header score! Unbelievable goal. Chris Alveston with that speed, getting towards the sixth. Diving low to the turf to put a header in. And an insurance goal. It's 5-3. This is Flesh. Cross chance. Punched out by... Punched out for a moment and then buried. Great shot in the back of the net. That's Ben Coffey. And that's it. That's going to be it. Four minutes to go, but a three-goal deficit. Into the middle west as the countdown is on, on the William and Mary side. Time runs out. William and Mary's going to the CAA championship game. They haven't been there since 2010. They'll look to claim their eighth crown. Uh, I thought the team played really well. We fought really hard. They made it tough on us all night. They were resilient. Um, but we found a way to keep scoring and get the lead and finally kept it. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the most that we've put up all year. We haven't been real prolific as a team. We've been good at scoring timely goals and spreading it around. But uh, tonight was, was outstanding. I thought, you know, we got contributions from a number of different players, both with goals and assists. And uh, like I said, I think we just were really clinical. When we got into good positions, we just made good choices. Our execution was, was outstanding and, and uh, resulted in the number of goals. Yeah, I mean, every time we felt like we had control of the game, they came back and scored and we just kept fighting. They made it tough on us. We were both fighting for our seasons and glad we got the win.